All right, the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Sean Porter sparring Demetrius Andre to prepare for his upcoming fight with Earl Spence. Is that a good move or a bad move? The stocks went off with Trip. Boy, better do something. <laughs> somebody who's, you know, heavier, there'll be a great advantage. Um, again, uh, like Earl Spence, Andre is real skillful in the ring. You know what I'm saying? The way he uses combinations, the way he's tricky. That's like great preparation for Porter to go into the Earl Spence fight. So because of that, I think it's actually a great idea. Uh, shout out to uh, Porter and his father for bringing him on to their camp. You know what I mean? And hopefully that works for their advantage during you know, the, the Spence fight. The Spirit G theory. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that this is crazy. If you just think about it, with the segment that we was talking about, right? How we talked about how at one time, um, Demetrius Andre was critical of a U.S. fighter. And somebody that was very vocal about him talking about a U.S. fighter who was an Olympian was Earl Spence. And I just brought that up in the last segment. That is crazy. I just, just popped in my head. I was like, man, does that have a little bit of... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <Now, laughs> Spirit G. It's for I can see that can mimic uh, Earl Spence 
would be like a like a Danny. You know what I'm saying? But Danny's timing, with Danny's like like you gotta understand that would be good spar. That would be a good spar for Sean. You know what I'm saying? I just disagree. Like, cause even with Earl, I'm I'm going I'm going I'm going off what Earl said. Earl said he don't think that he said with other other fights that the only fight that he would think would be a good fight between him is that even though he don't got a belt is D. He said he's the only one that can see him hanging with him. He was said because everybody got this thing about Danny like but. He, like he said, he said, Danny's time. And how Danny does a lot of things that he does. Yeah, but like what Kagan was saying, they don't fight the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, Garcia just doesn't fight like Spence. So, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, know if that would be I've seen a little, some similarities. Yo, Danny's too flat footed to fight you know like Spence. I've seen some, I've seen, I've seen Earl be very flat footed. Danny's mm-hmm. bad because you don't want to take heavy punishment before they go into your fight. Yeah. I think. But look at, look at, Demetrius is a 160 uh, pound fight. Well, that's my point. I don't necessarily, yeah. and, and his style always a comfortable. To me, I would say like, if you can get a Charlo in there to swallow him. Charlo was but then, down then, with his fence. But, 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 but that's my point. The other thing is, you know, your confidence to get shot because you're going to lose a lot of those rounds. Yeah. Like you need, you know, this is where but you really think about Spar. I think for to prepare for Earl Spence, Danny can box, and I think uh, even Mikey Garcia said this. Uh, he said Danny's a good boxer, and he showed it against um, Matisse. And they said that when Danny was an amateur, he showed his boxing skills more. But since he's become a pro, he relies more on his power. Mm-hmm. So I think Danny, the guy who fought um, Matisse. And the guy who showed some boxing skills against Judah uh, would be a good good preparation because the tech Danny can be technically sound. I think in G's mind he's thinking like about the Danny who's weighing those powerful like all oh, those. No, no. And I think where you're coming from is you're talking about the Danny who boxes, the Danny who's technical. And so like not the Danny who saw Granados and said, I'm oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like the Danny that set things up. Yeah. Like when he did to like I always mention that Amir Khan thing because everybody always says he was he threw a blind that book. But as you keep seeing, he kept throwing that to the body to, to, to bait mm-hmm. uh, Amir yeah. Khan in. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of things that I do think that a lot of things that they do are similar. You know what I think he's a good fight. I think it'd be it'd be good sparring. But truthfully, I don't think you spar someone like Danny. Before a major fight, yeah, yeah. and I don't think you spar someone like Demetrius Andre before a major yeah, fight. That's my point. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't understand why they're bringing them in and what they're what they're hoping to accomplish with it. But you know, if they got a great relationship, yeah, if they feel yeah. like it's gonna it's gonna. Help but them. who would you bring? Like if you had to pick somebody, so I'm assuming you'll pick either a, a, someone in the welterweight division. Who I think someone bigger than a walkaway because Spence gonna be bigger. That is you know, a walkaway. Uh, like who the kid Jamie? Jamie? You know what? I probably bring someone like uh, Monroe Jr. Um, and let me see who else do I bring in? Bring in someone like um, you can't. It's you just need a boxer. Some of the boxer style, but who's not going to really hurt Gabriel? Rosado. I mean, pa- he, he's not bad. He's, he's soft. Yeah, you know what? You, 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 get, you get work from him. But I mean, like the chief guy who you're looking to like push him and mimic. I mean, I'd I probably look for someone like. Monroe. Yeah, I did. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like that, that's probably who I would bring. Yeah, that's just. Yeah. So, this is Boxing Bros. Please like and subscribe in the comment. Let us know how you feel. And check us out on social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Boxing Bros. Peace.